Miss Carmelia here again. Hopefully you're having a great time this Memorial Day weekend. And today we're going to talk about keeping going even when you have questions. I don't know about you, but I have questions all the time. Like, how can it possibly rain when it, the sun is shining? Yep, mm -hmm. I don't understand. I have questions. And I have something like this. I have questions. Why do I even own something like this? I don't know. And I have other questions too. I have questions like, what would it be like if I dropped this from the top of that? Hmm, I have questions. But it's okay to have questions. So today we're gonna learn about a man named Philip. And Philip was uh, brought in to the church. He accepted Christ, he worked with the disciples, and he helped care for others who needed special needs within the church. And then God called him to Samaria to talk to others about Jesus there. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. He, he healed people who were sick. He did all kinds of things to help others. And then he heard the voice from God telling him, you need to go down this desert road all the way to Gaza. Now, Philip may have had questions like, why in the world is God telling me to go there? But you know what? He did it anyways. So when he got to Gaza, there was an Ethiopian royal man who had been to Jerusalem and worshiped God, and he was on his way back uh, to Ethiopia when he ran into Philip. And as he was sitting there on his chariot, he was reading the book of Isaiah. Now, Isaiah is in the Old Testament. And I don't know if any of you have ever tried to read Isaiah. It is really kind of hard to read. But it has lots of prophecy in it. It was the foretelling of things that were going to come, things that were going to happen. And it talked about the Messiah. And so when the Ethiopian asked Philip, I really have some questions about this book. Philip could say, oh, well, that's great because I can tell you about the Messiah because he came. Jesus came and he fulfilled those prophecies. He, he did the things that Isaiah said he would do. And suddenly the man from Ethiopia believed in Jesus. He got the full picture now. He even stopped and said, we've got to stop and find some water, not watermelon but they had to stop and find some water so he could get baptized. And just that simply, God used Philip to answer some questions. Now, I know when we have questions, we can go to our parents. And when we get to come back to church, you can ask me or the pastor or your other teachers here at church when you have questions about the Bible, but it's okay. It's okay to ask questions and to not understand something because God really wants us to understand and he wants us to ask questions. So now, the biggest question of all, what does that watermelon look like? Let's go find out. Okay, are you ready for this? Let's find the answer to our question. What will happen to the watermelon when I drop it from the top of the ladder? Yep, that's what happens to a watermelon when you drop it from an eight foot ladder hoping your questions that you have um, don't end up quite so messy. See you next week. That's a mess. 